So what's the main difference between the factory heat exchanger and an aftermarket oil cooler? Most of the time, especially on a streetcar, you would want a thermostatic plate to send the oil out to the cooler. So you're only going to be sending the oil around the cooler if it's up at operating temperature. So you're going to, you know, your thermostat's going to open probably at something around 190, 200 degrees, something like that to maintain that normal operating temperature of oil. You're going to run the oil through the cooler before that. The factory oil cooler, because it's running coolant through there, it, it's not going to keep the oil temperature nearly as low as something like an aftermarket cooler could, but it really does stabilize the temperature. The, the advantage of the factory heat exchanger is it's much simpler. It's much smaller. There's no packaging. I mean, it's just it's just this little little column that sits above the oil cooler. So it, it's very reliable long term, um, and it's very simple. Versus a lot of these aftermarket ones, you're going to have to run the lines to the cooler, find a place to put the cooler, run the oil back, make sure that the lines and fittings are tight, that they're not leaking, that you know, you're not having any issues with the header. Uh, which which we may have done once or twice ourselves. So there's there's a little bit of extra complexity with the aftermarket ones. So that's that's the biggest one. The factory ones maybe not quite as effective, especially in very hard driving or high car applications, but a lot simpler. With an aftermarket oil cooler, is there a chance of like losing oil pressure? So that's definitely something to be aware of. I would say if there was only one gauge, if you could only put one gauge on your car in one gauge only, you'd want it to be an oil pressure gauge. Ideally, there should be a minimal pressure change from before you put on the oil cooler to after.